Hey guys, I'm here to do a tutorial. Yes, a tutorial. A tutorial! <laughs> it's been forever, like literally forever since I've done a tutorial. And it was it's crazy. Like I feel so bad because that's what my channel is about is tutorials. Mainly, but of course I do other stuff. But I've missed doing tutorials in ugh. I just missed it. And I had time to do it right now, so of course I did it, and I'm so happy I did because I love how this turned out. And I gotta play with my new stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna st cut right to the chase because I just want, like, I'm just so excited. I'll just keep talking and talking and talking. And I know it's kind of simple. It's kind of like, a simple eye goes a little bit dramatic. But, I mean, I'm back. That's all that should count. Yeah, I really do hope you guys like this a lot. And if you do, please comment, like, and subscribe. And check the links down below for everything you need. And let's get right onto this tutorial. All right, so I don't have any foundation on since we're working with glitter. It's just easier to clean up and then put the foundation on. Instead of put the foundation on, try to clean up. Possibly take your foundation off and then have to redo the whole thing. So I'm not even, I didn't even mess around with it. And my window's open, so I'm sorry if you can hear it raining. It's just it's nice and cool, and I like the sound of the rain. Sorry if it's bothering you. What I've already done is primed my eye with the Urban K Primer Potion in Eden. Yeah, Eden is just like a skin tone shade. You can kind of see how it blanked out my um, uh, veins. And I also filled in my eyebrows. Well, I obviously did this one, but filled in my eyebrow as well. The first color I'm going to take is from a matte quad called Call Me Bubbles. And the shade I'm using is Call Me Bubbles, which is this one right here. It's just like a golden off-white color. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it. And I'm just going to take a flat brush like this. It's kind of fluffy a little bit. Just to, just to pack it all over. If you have Max Naked Lunch, you can use that as well. Um, maybe Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette. Uh, I don't want to say Virgin because Virgin's very... Compared to this, it's frosty. But I'm just taking this color, Call Me Bubbles. And, of course, if you have a different skin tone, you're going to want to match it to that. This is pretty much just like a highlight for my skin. I'm just going to pack that all over. Like that. Simple. You can just see how it kind of has like a... Just kind of evened everything out and just kind of made it highlight a little bit. Then I'm just going to take a blending brush. Just a simple little blending brush. I'm going to take Naked from my Naked One palette. It's just a skin tone shade that's close to mine. Barely going to uh, tap my brush in there. And then I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and just kind of tap it off and roll it off. Because I barely want any product on here. I'm just going to lightly put this in the crease. Just barely. Barely, barely, barely. See, it's just really subtle. You probably can't even see like a difference on camera. But just to kind of give it a little bit of definitions, just so it's not all one color. And then I'm going to take my Tarina Tarantino duo and Jasper and a gate. It looks like this. Well, which, which one's which? Jasper is this one, and a gate is this one. I'm going to take Jasper. Uh, if you have the Fantastical palette by her, the purple one, it's pretty much the shade in the middle. This one's a little bit more yellow. I'm just going to take a different flat brush for that. This one's pretty much like a metallic shimmer. You'll see. Barely want any on the brush. I'm just going to pat this on the lid. Focus it on the center and then kind of work it out. This is like a more intense version of Call Me Bubbles. And then I'm going to take a little bit, barely any of it. Tap it on my hand a little bit just to get, make sure that I have barely any. Put it right underneath my brow, right underneath the arch, right here. Kind of shake it a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to take uh, the Call Me Bubbles brush and just go over that just so it's not such an intense highlight. Back with the brush that I use Naked on, just kind of fan it there. Then I'm going to take an angled brush. This one's kind of fluffy. And out of my Naked 2 palette, I'm going to take Pistol, and this is kind of like a darkened taupe color. Right here, it's shimmer. It has a bunch of shimmer in it. I'm just going to take that, load it up on the brush, tap away the excess, and just go on like I was putting on eyeliner. So 
So like that, just so there's like a shadow there. I don't want it to be so definite. That's why I used a fluffier brush, just so it wasn't as harsh. Like if I used a really fine one, like I used for my eyeliner, see how thin that is? It would have been packing it on way too much. Then I'm just gonna take a short shader brush like this. See, it's kind of like tighter. And I'm gonna take another matte quad. This was the Parlor Smoke Quad, and I'm taking Steel. And this is kind of, uh, it's hard to describe. This one right here, it has a, it's a Velux Pearl finish, so it has a, some shimmer, but not as intense as the Urban Decay ones. And this is like a just a darkened steel color. That's a steel's a pretty appropriate name. So I'm putting that on the brush, again, tapping it on my hand. And I'm just going to go over where I put that pistol shade. Just really lightly. And then when I get out to the outer corner, I'm just going to keep going out. And kind of make a wing right there. You can kind of see it. Then I'm just going to take that thin liner brush that I just showed you, and I'm going to take my Tarina Tarantino. I Dream Hyperliner Eyeliner in Tommy Jet, which is just the black one. This is a really creamy coal eyeliner, so it's going to work pretty well with this. I'm going to take the brush and just run it over that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, push this down into my lash bed, like so. Then before that sets, I'm going to take the same brush that I used to smudge it, and smudge it again. I'm going to keep repeating this process till I get it to where I like it, like intensity wise. So like that, and a little tip on getting this wing like faded out like this, just kind of focus the blending, right, the smudging right here, and then look back in the mirror. So I'll try to do it on here. And so when you get most of the product here, just keep your head tilted back and just let the brush go out and it'll get that wing going up. I'm also going to take the angle brush again and just what's left on the brush and I'm going to go on the inner corner right here and extend it out there just a tiny bit just so it kind of has a little dip right there and kind of gives like a feline effect. I'm going to take a pencil brush, like a fluffy one. I'm going to take that pistol color again and I'm just going to lightly blend this over top of this whole eyeliner mixture. I'm taking the short eyeliner brush and just kind of going underneath the swing. I'm not picking up any more product, I'm just using what's left on it. And just kind of go on top a little bit. I'm, I'm barely putting any pressure down because I don't want a harsh line. Take the smudging brush again. And take a little bit more of steel. Tap it off on your hand. And just kind of fan this up. So like that, you can see it's like a, it's like a nice cat eye, but it's really soft. So I'm taking pistol again, and then just running this over once more. And I'm going to take this small angled brush and I'm going to take black out in the Naked 2 palette. It's just a matte black. It's just convenient because it's right here in the same palette. And I'm just going to push this into the lash beds too. And on this little inner corner part. Once more I'm taking pistol and I'm going to go on the lower lash line with this. I'm just going to make it a little sloppy. I'm going to go ahead and tight line and line my water line, so I'm going to line the upper one and the lower one, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and curled my lashes while I was at it because uh, if I did it after this next step, then it can kind of take it off. But I'm going to take uh, Tarina Tarantino's, I'm trying to use my new products that I got, so if, if it's not obvious by now. It's a Sparklicity Pure, which is just like a glitter pigment, and I got the nude one. So there's that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat brush like this, and it's a synthetic one so it doesn't matter if it gets ruined. I'm just going to pick some up, and I'm going to take like a setting spray. Uh, you can use water, like put it in a little spray bottle, whatever, uh, Fix Plus, but I just have the vitamin C uh, face spritz from the body shop, 
and you can see the glitter on the brush. I'm just going to spray it because this way it'll help the glitter stick onto the eyelid instead of just putting it on there and it just fall right off. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put, uh, put it on the lid portion right above the eyeliner. So there's that, and it's a little, on my face a little bit. I think I've said it, said this in a video before. To take it off, just to take a piece of tape, put it on your wrist a couple of times just so it's not as sticky and harsh on your face, and um, just take it and go to town on your face. That way it'll pick up all of the glitter. Well, mo a majority, like 90% of the glitter. So before I put my mascara on, I'm going to use a glitter liner from Tarina Tarantino, and it's called Glitter Mist. It looks like this. It's a very pretty, like, opalescent, clear liner. There's it on my hand. I'm going to give you an idea. I'm just going to take a, barely any of this. This was a last minute decision. I'm just going to take a little fine detailing brush, pick a little bit of that up. I put this right here on the inner corner opposite of the little extended liner we did. So like that, I'm going to apply Clinique's High Impact Mascara and then uh, put on some false eyelashes which are Daisy Beauty Dramatic Lash number 40. They look like this. Then I'll apply my foundation and concealer and come back and tell you what I use for a blush in my lips. Alright, so the look is done. I like this a lot. Just throwing that out there. Here's a close-up on the eyes, both of them being done. Alright, I'll go through a run-through of what I, what all I use. For my foundation slash concealer, I use NARS's Sheer Glow Foundation. Uh, I would just pack it on more where I needed more coverage for concealer. Then I would I set that with my Mac Metal Eye Skin Finish Natural and Light Plus. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Light Plus. Timmy's here to say hello. Say hello. He didn't want to say hello. Then I contoured my nose a little bit with Hoola bronzer or powder from Benefit. And for blush slash contour on my cheeks, I used a mix of two blushes. Uh, the first I used was Max Darkly My Dear. This came out in the Venomous Villains collection a couple of years ago. And it's just like a rosy pink, almost brown. It has Corella on there. And then I focused that mainly underneath on the back of my cheeks and then underneath the cheekbone. And then for the blush that I put on the cheekbone and I blended it forward a little bit was Max Mineralized Blush in Giggling. This came out in the Quite Cute collection. And this is just like a mid-tone pink. I just took a big fluffy brush like this, rolled them both together, and then just kind of kept going. And for a highlight, I just used a brush like this. And I used the Torino Tarantino Duo, and I used Jasper, the one that I used for the highlight on the eyes, so I used this one. I used it lightly because this stuff doesn't mess around. And I kind of went over it with powder just so it, I could tone it down a little bit. But I put that on top of my cheekbones. Bridge my nose on my forehead, on my chin, and on my cupid's bow on my lip. And then for my lips, I used OCC's new lip tart in Black Dahlia. I love this. I mean, it obviously looks intimidating in here, but it's a nice wine berry dark color, and I like it a lot. So yeah, that's the whole look. I hope you guys liked it. I'm so glad to be back with tutorials. I was recording. I just felt so happy. And I wanted to play with my new stuff, as you saw in the video. I used pretty much, not all of them, but... A lot of my Tarina, new Tarina Tarantino stuff. And of course the fabulous Black Dahlia. I was so excited to use this. I love this color so much. But yes, if you guys want to learn more, check the blog post link down below. And I have my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Instagram and everything down below. Just go check that out and you'll find a whole bunch of crap. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!